alone must just leak hyperloop to in the sky. Transportation tubes. In sci-fi movies, there are always scenes in which there's a train that moves so quickly that it could take you from Los Angeles to San Francisco within just a few minutes. While that might seem like fantasy, but our engineer Mr. Elon Musk is actually making this in real life right now. So stay tuned to the end of the video and get to know more about it. Hello everyone, and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you about the Hyperloop that Elon Musk is building. With that being said, let's get started with the question that what exactly is a Hyperloop transportation system? Hyperloop is the concept for a system of ultra-high-speed ground transportation for passengers and cargo that was first proposed by Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, in a paperback in 2013. In this system, there are sealed tubes and partially evacuated tubes that connect mobility hubs in large metropolitan areas and pressurized vehicles, called pods, which can be propelled and levitated with contactless levitation systems, as well as moving at very high speeds due to minimal aerodynamic drag and contactless levitation systems. Using this system will significantly reduce the travel time from door-to-door -door on medium-range distances, as compared to the current connections. In addition to this, the system aims to be climate-neutral because it uses only electric power for its operation. It basically works on electromagnetic acceleration. Actually, that's the high technology behind the high-speed transit concept that entrepreneur Elon Musk refers to as the Hyperloop. Musk that is the high technology that has led to the concept of high-speed transit e-Tesla electric car company and the Solar City Solar Energy Company unveiled his vision of the Hyperloop. It is envisioned that the proposal will reduce the travel time between San Francisco and Los Angeles to 35 minutes at a cost of $20 for a one-way trip. Musk said that it would actually feel a lot like being on an airplane. Apparently, he believes that Hyperloop would be a feasible solution between any two cities that are located at a distance of up to 900 miles, 1,500 kilometers. He also believes that air travel would probably be more effective for traveling longer distances. Musk explained his work on the Hyperloop in a blog posting and a 57-page PDF document he authored about the idea. In the blog post, he said the idea for the Hyperloop came from his frustration with the shortcomings in California's $68 billion high-speed rail plan, which is just getting started. According to Musk, a dozen engineers from SpaceX and Tesla have been working on the Hyperloop concept for the past year or so as a background task. In response to a question from a fan about how exactly this Hyperloop would work, Musk replied that the Hyperloop would send travelers through low-pressure steel tubes in specially designed pods that would travel at high subsonic speeds, reaching nearly 760 mph, 1,220 km per hour. The typical speed for high-speed rail travel in the United States is 110 mph for U.S. systems and 300 mph for Chinese systems. According to Musk's plan, the pods would be revved up using magnetic induction motors as soon as they're released from their stations, and they'd be given periodic boosts by linear induction motors integrated into the tubes and the pods once they're in the main travel tubes. He said that the moving motor element, rotor, will be located on the vehicle for weight savings and power requirements, while the two will incorporate the stationary motor element, stator, which powers the vehicle. To achieve near supersonic travel in a tube, the pods would be equipped with fans on their noses that would transfer high-pressure air from the front to the rear avoiding an aerodynamic limit that would otherwise thwart near supersonic flight. Musk said that he was confident that we'll be able to make it work with the current technology for electric motors and batteries, as implemented in the Tesla Model S sedan. In order to make the journey as frictionless as possible, a cushion of compressed air would be placed between the cars and the tube's interior surface. Musk said that the system may eventually be able to hold the equivalent of three full-size automobiles per pod, with passengers inside. And not only this, there would be a system of solar panels mounted on top of each two that would supply power to the whole system. Musk said, by placing solar panels on top of the two, the Hyperloop can generate far in excess of the energy needed to operate. And in order to reduce the cost of land acquisition and rights of way, Musk said that the tubes would be elevated on pylons and would generally follow the Interstate 5 route between San Francisco and Los Angeles. He estimated that the whole system would cost around $6 billion to build. He said 
even several billion is a low number when compared with several tens of billion proposed for the track of the California Rail Project. In fact, the combination of technologies is what caused Musk to describe the Hyperloop last month as a cross between Concorde, rail guns, and an air hockey table. Moreover, the hints he dropped along the way sparked a flurry of speculation about schemes from the Jetson-style people movers to underground vacuum tunnel systems. As a result, a self-described tinker named John Gardy put forward one of the closest guesses. He described a turbine-driven pneumatic system that used appropriate balls as the power source. Gardy said that Musk's system was even better than that. He stated in a tweet, beautiful, elegant, efficient. The aerodynamic solution is brilliant, brings me to tears. I can see why I missed it. So, the final question remains who will build the Hyperloop? Well, Musk has made it clear that he will not be able to build the Hyperloop himself due to his duties at SpaceX and Tesla. But he changed his tune slightly. During a news conference to discuss the idea, he told a reporter that I'm somewhat tempted to at least make a demonstration prototype. He added, I've sort of come around a little bit on my thinking here, that maybe I should do the beginning bit, create a subscale version that's operating, and then hand it over to somebody else. Despite this, Musk cautioned that such a demonstration would not be immediate and that it would serve more as a technological testbed than a practical transit system. According to him, the project was similar to SpaceX's rocket demonstration on the Texas test range. Musk believes the California project should be put on hold since the construction costs could exceed the current estimate of $68 billion, and it is likely to result in a slower rail system than an airplane. He said, that just doesn't seem wise for a state that was facing bankruptcy not that long ago. Mr. Emil Frankel, a former transportation official who is now a visiting scholar at the Bipartisan Policy Center, said that he didn't know enough about Mr. Musk's latest announcement to comment on its pros and cons. However, he stated that anything that gives a boost to the debate over the future of transportation is a good thing. He said in the news that I think that the best way for us to spend our money on infrastructure, given scarce resources, is with incremental improvements, restoration of our existing systems, and appropriate expansions. The analyses that have been done suggest that these kinds of incremental improvements to the efficiency and reliability of our existing systems provide the best benefits. At one point, I had a wildly high figure for the number of people working on the Hyperloop concept, based on something I misheard during Musk's news conference. It's a little over a dozen, not a thousand. At this point, it's a little difficult to tell who is working on this Hyperloop project, but one thing is certain. Musk is definitely gonna get it done, not only because it's his idea, but also because he's a dreamer and hustler who never ceases to innovate. Anyways, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way. And we'll see you in the next one.